Hello everyone, today we're out on Helmadol and we're back at searching for a trophy bull moose. So we just spotted the first one right now. He's uh, just over here. He actually went right behind that hill. So we have the 9.3 rifle with us. And we have the reverse draw crossbow. The camel pulser. And we also have a recurve carbon with tracer arrows in case he's huge. So he called up there. There he is. All right. So he's probably close to 160 meters out. And he looks to be like a 120s, 130s bull. Just a young one. So let's try and take him out. That definitely should have hit him pretty solid. And he shouldn't go too far after that. In fact, I think he might have went down. So let's mark where he was standing at. Right about there. Now, this is where we're at. We're hunting over on Hellendale now because... I've actually killed more 200 plus bull moose on this map than any other map. Even White Ram Ridge. White Ram Ridge has some pretty big bulls in it. But this map, if you find a big one, you're definitely going to find a trophy moose. So what we want to hunt is we're going to hunt around this area here. And kind of work our way around. Cover pretty hard all this area. And also, there's a pretty good chance we might find a big bull reindeer. And yep, you can see right there, our bull's down. Alright, so I actually just heard a road deer call. And he's a male somewhere over in that direction. And I can kind of see him. So we might try and take him out. Not sure how big it is. There he is. Not that big, but we'll take him out anyway. And he's down. So let's mark. Look at this, guys. We got another bull moose. He's out there at 201 meters away. So let's see if we can't take him out. Perfectly broadside, too. That should have been a solid hit. And he ran out of render distance. So I don't know how we're going to mark this one, but. Let's see. He was about right there. Alright, so here's our first bull moose. And we hit him in the left lung at 143 meters. He scores 129.3. So not too bad. And here's our roe deer. We hit him in the intestine and liver at 188 meters. Wow, it's a pretty good one actually. He scores 170.4. So I think we're definitely going to take a trophy shot of this guy. I don't know if we're going to mount him or not, but for sure take a trophy shot. Alright, pretty cool. Yeah, we're not going to mount him yet. If he was 200 plus, then we probably would think about it. Alright, so our bull should have been somewhere... Over here. Yep, right here. Lung blood. But what's interesting to me is there's also another bull track right here. And he's not too far away. Yep, here's our bull down. He didn't go too far at all. This one looks a little better. This one might be a 140s. We hit him in the left lung at 201.9 meters. And he scores 134.6. So a little bit bigger. Now there is a track right here. And he's not super heavy. But he's not tiny either. So I think it might be worth it to pursue this bull moose. And at least see if we can't get a glimpse of him. 
Got a pretty open spot up here. There he is right there. He is pretty small. In fact, I don't even know if it's worth it to shoot him with this thing. Yeah, he's going to score like 100 probably. But we might as well take him out because there's a chance when we shoot we might kick up another big one somewhere. And we have plenty of bullets, so why not? That definitely hit lung. Lung and liver, I would imagine. Yep, he's down. Alright, here's our bull. We hit him in the shoulder blade and right lung at 104.2 meters, and he scores 113.1. So pretty small. But... We possibly could have kicked up some bulls. So what I think we're going to do now is circle around back this way here and hit this part here pretty hard all around this area. There could be some big bulls. All right, guys, so this is what happens next. So we basically hunted quite a bit of this northeast end over here, and we covered all the way along this back wall, all the way around this pond. We did kick up a couple of moose, but they're mostly cows and small bulls. So we actually passed them up. We got all the way to the, my tree stand here where my bear bait is, and we got a moose call right here. And it happened to be pretty small too, so it wasn't even, it wasn't even worth taking a shot at them. So what we decided to do is fast travel to this tent right here. And as soon as we spawned in, we got a call from a cow moose right here. Now, it was only a cow. But I know there's bulls around here. So I gave a call and I went crouched and got up in position right up on this hill here. And as I was sneaking up to this hill, I got another cow call. So then I was thinking to myself, well, at least there's two cows. There could be a chance of a bull coming in. Well, as soon as I laid down prone, all of a sudden a bull moves calls right in the exact same location as the two cows. And this is what happens next. I had a feeling he might be a decent one, but decent is not the story to this one. Look at the size of this moose. He has a minimum of 190 to 200. There he is right there. Let's see. 190 to 235. That is a monster moose. I can't even believe this. But I had a feeling when two cows called and there was a bull with them, that one of them that bull was going to be a trophy because this usually happens the bulls will come with the cows like this and to get close enough to get a shot on this bull is going to be tricky but it's it's possible but it's going to be tricky and also we need to check the wind here first the wind is actually right in our face so that's perfect we have a perfect wind now I put out a couple of calls over here we could easily take the shot with the reverse draw too. What a monster bull. So he weighs 520 to 560 kgs. His points look pretty good. He has really wide paddles and he's definitely going to be over 200s. I'm not sure exactly what he's going to score but he's definitely going to be over 200s. And he's definitely going to go on the wall. All right, guys, here he comes. He's definitely going to take his time, too, apparently. Oh, okay, here he comes. Now, we want to get a range so we can get a rough estimate. When he gets to right there, he's going to be 30. So we might try for a 30-meter shot on him. He's 35. All right, he's 35 meters away, guys. It's a pretty good angle. We could definitely hit vitals from that angle. He's definitely about 20 meters away. This is not good. We're going to have to try. Oh, he's turning perfect. Well, we got to take a shot. Well, we hit him. And it looked like it had a good angle to it. That looked like a perfect shot, actually. I couldn't even see the shot. He was actually in the brush when we took the shot. Might have been just a tad high. But I'm hoping we got some kind of vitals. The problem is if we would have let him get any closer, he for sure would have spooked. 
And if that's the case, it would have been really hard to find him. Oh, look at this, another bull coming in. So that was definitely not the greatest shot in the world. And it looks like body blood. So that is not a very good thing. Especially with these giant bulls like this. They don't just die. It takes them a long time to go down. With a body shot especially. I don't think I've actually even killed a moose with a body shot in quite some time. But we have a small bull here and he's probably going to charge me. So, we're going to have to shoot him. He went down. Alright, so let's get back over here. Yeah, that's definitely body blood. We hit him a little bit high in the back. But as you can see, you probably get a little bit nervous when you have a big bull coming in and you have two cows coming right next to you too. And these cows could have easily busted and screwed everything all up. So we took the shot, kind of regretting it a little bit, but at the same time, he would have probably smelled us and bolted anyways. So what we're gonna do now is try and locate him, figure out where we hit him, and call him back in and get another second follow-up shot on him. But he is a monster. All right, now here's a cow. So he shouldn't be too far away from this cow. But I don't see him. Well, I'm not really sure what to do right now. We finally got our 200 plus bull moose coming in. And we choked. That's basically what happened. But now I can't even find the next track. I have no clue. I don't really want to call because then that stupid female is going to come over. But at the same time, it would be really nice if he could call back and show us where he's at. Because I don't really know where to go. You'd think it won't be that hard to find a 200 plus bull moose standing there with the arrow in them, but apparently it is. Oh, okay guys, we found the next track. So he actually cut way left. I had no clue he cut this far left. So he must have been somewhere over by that bear over there. Yeah, he cut way left. Now that makes a little more sense. Although I didn't realize he cut this far left. But apparently he did. And here's his next track right here. So at least we're getting on to him now, finally. Yeah, he's starting to straighten back up. We were just over here. So he must be just on the other side of this hill. But the thing is, with these big moose, and even the big animals in general, sometimes they flee for 250 to 300 meters straight before they even start slowing down. Oh, there he is, right there! Oh, thank God he called, because we were going the complete wrong direction. There he is. He's coming right in. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, come on, look at that shot. What was wrong with that shot? Are you kidding me? Did we hit him in the front shoulder? That looks like a perfect shot. Oh, we let him just a little too much. Hit him right in the shoulder blade. That is an awesome bull coming in, though. Almost a perfect shot, but just a little bit too far forward. Well, we're going to get a second chance. It's not a very good angle, but it'll have to do. And he's down. We just dropped him. Heart shot. Oh. Wow. So it's a good thing that this bull just called back because we were about to circle back around and go this way. 
And that wouldn't have been good because he would have seen us sneaking up on him when in fact he was actually sneaking up on us. But here he is down here. He does have a little tiny de deduction right there on the left, actually his right horn. But other than that, he's definitely going to go over 200. So let's pick him up and see what he scores. And he scores 206.7. The first shot, yep. It should it should have said shoulder blade. I don't know why it just says body. I'm not sure if it actually glitched out from hitting that brush. But then the second shot, straight heart shot. 19.4 meters. And we got ourselves a trophy bull moose. 206.7. And I couldn't be happier to go hang him up on the wall. Yeah, you can see that shot was just a little too far forward. We actually let him while he was walking, and that was a problem. We couldn't really see him because he was in the brush. I was hoping to hit somewhere somewhere over here, but apparently he stopped, and we thought he kept walking, and that's what happened. But we didn't miss him by much. All right, guys, so I think that shot looks pretty cool. You can see his, his uh, right side there looks really, really big. The left side is all right, but it's about as good as we're going to get for now. So let's take a trophy shot and let's get him mounted. Wow, that was one heck of a hunt. It started off slow and we were seeing a couple of bulls, but nothing big enough to even think about getting mounted. And there was quite a bit of cows. And what happened was... We pretty much covered all the area that I wanted to. We hunted all the way through here, came around this pond, found a couple of uh, decent bull tracks here, but we decided to pass on them. Kept coming all the way to the bait here, found another bull here, but he was so small, I didn't even pay to shoot him, and decided to fast travel to this tent just because I was thinking of actually doing a reverse psychology and we were going to go back around this way and hook around towards the bait here and possibly jump up some big bulls, moose, or even some reindeer in here too. But what happened is when we spawned in, a couple of cow moose called. About five minutes into the hunt is, actually about five minutes into, is after that cow called, we got a bull moose call. And after that bull moose called, I thought to myself, there's a pretty good chance that it could be a good one. And as soon as I saw that score of 190 to 200 plus, I knew he was definitely going to be a wall hanger. So that was pretty awesome. All right, well, let's head over to the Trophy Lodge and go take a look. All right, we're back at the Trophy Lodge. And actually, take a look at this bull. You'll notice this one has a score of 193.5. Now, I shot this one on Red Feather Falls with a gun. I had some footage of it, but somehow I lost it. So I can't show you guys it. But anyways, I was going to keep this one for my personal best and to get it mounted at first. Because I didn't know if we actually could beat 200, to be honest. 193 plus bull moose is, it's a pretty big bull. They really don't get, you know, that much bigger than that. So I was pretty happy with that. But, then we shot this guy. He scores 206.7. Now this was a true monster bull. You can see him up there on the top. He looks pretty good. Now, there's not really very many options that you can uh, put this moose. Basically, just straightforward, because if you put him up, <laughs> he's looking into the sky. And if you turn him right or left, you just can't see anything. So the only way, oh, we're moving the non-tip on accident. The only way to keep him is tilted just like that. But he looks pretty good. And that's a pretty awesome addition to our wall. So that's pretty cool. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys. So in the Ibex video, I did shoot a rock ptarmigan. So we're going to put him out here. And in my bear video, I shot a willow ptarmigan. And this one's actually pretty big too. So we're going to put them out and take a look at them quick. All right, so this one on the right is a willow ptarmigan, and he scores 677.0. And the one on the left is a rock ptarmigan, and he scores 562. So let's see if we can put him in a cool pose here. Ooh, we actually can. 
Yeah. To uh, to be honest, I think this one's pretty big, six seventy seven, and I recorded this one because it was a male and it had a pretty heavy weight, and so I just shot it with the pulser. But anyways, you guys were asking about these birds here, and here they are. All right, so now let's get back over here and take a look at our bull moose. Wow, that was one heck of a hunt. And like I said, it started off pretty slow. I wasn't sure if we were actually going to be able to pull off killing a 200 plus bull moose, especially in one hunt. And we actually, this is the second hunt. The first hunt we tried on White Rhyme Ridge, and that's when we ended up killing the 122 scoring bison. The first shot, like I said, there was no excuse. It was basically just nervousness and we choked I actually didn't even think about taking that shot I just took it and probably should have waited a little bit longer for him to square up and not be in the thick brush we didn't miss him by much tell you what hit it. he got hit right in the front shoulder and but the problem is you're not really going to penetrate that front shoulder on a bull moose like that well we got him anyways and I think that's going to be the end of this video so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.